Alex, your gallery represents the estate of Tapies. There's a big show now at Reina Sofia. And how is the market for this very important artist in Spain? Well, the, the artist um, is very popular in Spain, so the market is very strong. There is a lot of secondary market, which is not so good for us as representatives of the, of the estate, but uh, that means that uh, there is an interest, no? Uh, so, I mean, we are happy, we've been selling the works, the estate also runs from 1989 until 2012, so we do not sell the older works, we just sell the, the later production of the artist. And the estate is represented by the family? Yes. And, and so, uh, you told me you saw something when you saw the show at Regna Sofia, about the late work because outside on your booth there's a beautiful 2008 painting and you think they are, they are very fresh this kind of late work yeah i think um there's a moment in the early 70s where where he starts to to be freer somehow freer from um i think he had uh, like a moment of um, stability in terms of economy uh, in his household yeah. So he was free to do what he wanted to do, no? So in the early 80s, he starts to experiment with different materials. And when you see the show at the Reina Sofia, you can really uh, tell that uh, he's very contemporary, no? And the materials he's using and the, um, the aspect of the works is so um, relevant to the art that is being made nowadays that, uh, that I think that's going to be a discovery for the visitors of the show. And in terms of prices, the work from the 60s and the work from the from 2000, they are like uh, the, the work from 60s, 70s are like three times the price of. Uh... Well, it depends on the market and it depends on the work. In fact, uh, the most expensive works are always the larger works, no? Uh -huh. Because people are looking for important big works. So that's the ones that uh, at auction, they uh, reach a high uh, price, no? Um, in smaller works, you would tell, you would say that they're in, in the same kind of range, no? Ah, uh, really? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There's not such a big difference. I mean, the, the big difference is with the large works, ah, okay. which are more difficult to find in the market. And, and um, but it's also an international market, right? Yes. The demand it is from what country? I mean, we get a lot of, uh, I don't know, I would say we've had clients from Switzerland, from uh, America? Germany, America, yes, so? uh, from New York. In fact, uh, Tapis was very well exhibited in America through Martha Jackson, and uh, she sold a lot of works there. So there is a lot of Tapis in America that is totally undiscovered because they haven't surfaced. Mm. So they're still with their collectors, with us inheritances of and their... they don't appear at auction no so what makes us think that people actually love them still no? ah good yeah. it's a good sign yes or it means that there's no market so they're not selling or they're waiting for the market to go up because uh, i think um Tappy is being what the, what the artist that he is um is totally underneath the price range of his contemporaries. Yeah, I yes. see international contemporaries, you mean? Yes, uh, international contemporaries, of course. Yeah. Uh, also, the, ta the Tapis produced a lot, of course. Ah, like, yeah. do you know, do you have a number? I think the Catalogue Raisonné uh, includes some 9,000 works. Okay, so it's a lot, right? So it's a lot. Um, and he died late. He oh, died man. late, he produced, he, produced, he uh, was a hard worker, but also he was very actively collected, so he sold a lot in his uh. lifetime. So there is a lot of circulation as well. Of and in this period, uh, is this chaotic uh, political economic period, the price are not going down? No, uh, in fact, uh, it's holding well. Uh, uh, when we sell uh, primary market and the auction market, in the end with commissions and so on, it, it ends up l leveling out. Um, So there's not such a difference. Yeah. Merci.